This tutorial presents an overview of numerical integration using the trapezoidal rule in MATLAB. Given a function, the trapezoidal rule inlays trapezoids onto the function, and then computes the sum total of all the areas of the trapezoids. The red area represents area that is unaccounted for by the trapezoidal rule in this case. Note that the more number of intervals, the more the number of trapezoids, the more computations. However, the more accurate results. This example shows how to use the trap Z function which is based on the trapezoidal rule. Define the range of the integral. Notice that we have a range from negative 10 to 10 with an increment of 2. This means we will have 10 intervals for 10 trapezoids. Evaluate the integrand function as represented by y for this range. Use trap z to estimate the integral. Note that x, the independent variable is the first input and y, the integrand function is the second input into trap z. The value of the integral is evaluated and stored in output variable z. This example shows how to use the comtrap z function for cumulative integration using the trapezoidal rule. Define the range of the integral using an increment of 2 as in the previous example. Evaluate the integrand function as represented by y for this range. Use comtrap z to estimate the cumulative integral. The syntax is identical to that of trap z. The integral is evaluated cumulatively from the initial value of x, negative 10 in this case, to the final value after each interval. The output as stored in variable z is hence a vector in which each of the elements corresponds to the sum of the trapezoids up to that point. As mentioned earlier, the trap z function computes the value of the total integral, one value. While the comtrap z function computes the cumulative results of the integration, or vector. Note that the last value in the vector output from comtrap z the sum of the areas of the trapezoids up to that last point is the same as the output from trap Z as would be expected. Thank you for using MATLAB Marina for your programming needs.